Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Gaming and welcome back to Overhit. We've just hot off the back of Halloween, got ourselves another uh, event and this time it's a collab with Miku, who I'm not too familiar with, but I do know um, I do know of and know that it's a pretty popular um, uh, character and anime franchise. So first collab of Overhit as well and I gotta say, like I've got some mixed feelings about it. It comes along with a patch update as well, which does introduce a few changes, which are, are quite interesting and worth talking about. So let's jump right in. We've just loaded up the patch. We'll load into the lobby. So I have been playing Overhit a little bit more since the Halloween event, just sort of building up some additional resources, doing some uh, some synergies and synergizing, synthesizing my heroes, trying to get some soul stones. So, uh, we've got the usual stuff. Um, one of the interesting things is they've reset the guide quests or the special missions as well. So, we've now got ourselves, I think, around 300 or so missions with bonus rewards that you're just not going to care about particularly... Um, if you're not a new player, I mean, you know, having an extra SR of Cicero isn't something that's going to interest me or excite me at all, I have to say. Um, and it also takes away quite a few things that were good on the previous guide quest as well, like getting SSR tickets and things like that. So yeah, that's a bit of a downer, bit of a thumbs down on that one. Um, and it's also going to take a long time, so I, I would tend to just suggest to ignore it entirely pretty much. Um, so yeah, we've got the Miku event. One of the things that we actually also have is we now have sub leaders, which is a really interesting addition. I'm not really sure why they did this, um, but if you actually look at your teams now, both the beginning and the end will apply uh, your leader and your sub leader bonuses. Um, however, they have cut the sub leader bonus in half and it does round down if it creates a fraction when it does a half. So what does this mean? It means that basically um, Nexon is saying that we should be able to complete content that we perhaps weren't strong enough to complete before. I honestly haven't found that other than in raids. Maybe I can now auto a level 9 Fafnir or a level 10 um, Sphinx. So that's really the only place where I've seen it kind of more in the late game that'll make a big difference. Um, it doesn't really make a difference to me being stuck on Tower of Bravery. Um, it has possibly made a little bit of a difference in trying to get my um, my pendants in Space Time Rift. But then again, I'm not 100% certain. That may also be just because I, I got a better team comp going. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to do, just run through that. We've got the sub leader. I think that's a good addition. It does make everyone a bit stronger. Um, it also makes a big difference, uh, I think, to teams in PvP as well, something to mention in Arena. Um, so what have we got in the events? The same old thing, we got the continual uh, story, hard, extreme modes, you know, you go through the five stages and then you farm the last stage and hopefully you get enough stuff to, um, to start unlocking the additional rewards in the event itself. Um, I've already reset once. You do, the, uh, the big difference here as well though is you do get some equipment, so you get some, um, uh, you get some special Miku uh, weapons and armor um, and accessories. And I believe you can equip these to other characters, so um, the stats and the substats are pretty good um, that I've found so far. You do get different substats obviously when it drops. But they're, you know, I've actually got a pretty good sort of combination of stats on the drops I've got so far. Um, that said though, in the bonus event, you're going to now need to use legendary tickets. And if you look, if you really want to clear this out, you're going to need to use 300 legendary tickets. That's basically 50, 15,000 D gems to get those tickets if you're getting them with gems which is a really big ask for anyone. 
So I guess if you're really into Miku and it's someone that you really want for whatever reason, then you might sort of have hopefully saved up for this. But otherwise, I think it's pretty much unattainable for most people. Um, along that, with that, you've got the usual Angelo Bingo and you've got the Yggdrasil's um, Scissors, Paper, Rock game as well reset. We've also got a Any Raid, Just Join It kind of cooperation event. This time it actually works because before it wasn't actually unlocking the rewards for me as you went through. Um, but this time it seems to be fixed, which is okay. So what I want to do, just jump in and actually have a look at Miku. Is she someone that you're actually going to go and bother getting all those legendary tickets for and hope you pull her and eventually get her on that um, event stream? So let's just jump in. Obviously, I don't have her yet. Um, I do know people that do have her because I have seen them in Arena and they're already playing her in there. Um, so let's just pause for a sec. and Okay, so we found her. Um, she's in Industria, uh, funnily enough, with Tarantella and the others that are sort of in this genre. So let's have a look at her. Well, she's a virtual idol created to bring joy to the people of the world with her voice. However, she soon finds herself pursued by the CC who plan to use her abilities for nefarious purposes. That's actually probably the least descriptive hero info I've ever seen for a character. Um, so what is she? She inflicts magic damage, okay. So she's a magic singer, launched a range attack, so she's a ranged female, thank god. Um, she's from Vagabond, and she belongs to Defender of Justice, so she's a good guy. Hero from Other, so outside, and an other hero. Well, that makes sense. So, interestingly enough, she's a wind type, and she's an SSR+. Plus. But her leader abilities are generic, so we haven't had some of those for a while. Increase attack of allies by 30%, blanket. Um, increase max HP of allies by 20%, blanket. So, n probably for an SSR+, plus, that's actually not that great. Um, we've sort of got better, better skills. I don't like the fact it's both kind of max HP and attack. That's sort of two different areas without any focus. Um, but at least it's generic, I guess. And then again, also on her active skill, deal damage equal to 165% of attack. So she's a she's doing a magic AoE damage attack, but she's only hitting it at 165% right off the bat, and it's going to be very hard to get dupes of her. So the fact that she's doing so little damage is very concerning for anyone trying to get her. Um, She's dealing damage on her S2 equal to 157 of attack. Again, another AoE. But she's putting Paralyze at a 30% success rate again. Uh, that's not very great. Um, so yeah, this she's just looking very, very lackluster. Uh, if you wanted to try and get her Grim, increase his own attack by 8.3%. Increases Pierce rate of self by 7.2. So... Not gonna, it's not gonna really make a huge impact to her. So overall, at least at this level, her skills are really, you know, not even really as good as Horizons, to be honest. So let's just jump in here and have a look at what they look like. So maybe the animations are um, gonna make up for it, but for, for whatever reason, I honestly don't know if she's gonna be someone you're gonna be changing anyone out for in your pvp arena team even if you are going for a mono green team she doesn't really seem to be you know someone that you're gonna you're gonna actually prioritize um but if i'm wrong let me know so let's have a look opening act sort of very similar to tarantella's um animations actually i wouldn't have been surprised if the animation of the model is pretty much the same as Tarantel and they've just capitalized on that. So it looks it does look very kind of similar. Yeah, that that's not super great. Okay. So normal attacks. I have to say that that's really underwhelming. I ha this is the first time I've actually seen her, even though I've been playing since the um, update released. But uh, I just would not even bother. In fact, I would try and not go for her and try and go for the previous released characters, 
particularly Gustav, who I think has some really, really cool utility. Um, so yeah, guys, that's kind of my, my 10 cents on Miku. I just don't think she's worth it at all. In fact, I wouldn't even with a win team go for her. From my perspective, next on, you know, you're just capitalizing on collab, IP, fanboys and girls and really haven't done anything for that character and made it very difficult to get her probably even more so I think we've only got about seven days to try and get her and who knows if she's going to be available in the regular gotcha at any point in the future so yeah there you have it let's finish off on a summons I do have enough I think to do although I probably should go the legendary tickets um I think I'll just try and get, just try and pull on the regular. But yeah, let me know what you think. Is there something I'm missing on Miku? Um, I don't think there is. But um, I definitely am open to anyone's feedback, whether you've been playing with her um, and you found her useful. So, where are we? So I do have one legendary ticket. I won't waste it there. I will put it into here. So let's go for our first. And one legendary. Probably can grab another one too today, I think, for 500,000 gold or on. So that that's just a Sophia Soulstone with the worst thing that I could ask for. That'll be trashed. I'll just jump in the shop. Uh, shop. There we go. Go to the yarn shop. And I'll grab one of these. Okay. Let's try that again. Can we get lucky? Well, no. Elizabeth. They really got to do something about making those cards different now, so you don't think you're going to get something good. All right, so we've done that, and now we're going to do a premium. Or should we go for wind? Although that's 500 gems. Premium's still 300. We've got a fair few tickets too. So let's do these. I always seem to have better luck on these. We'll do a couple of these. Okay, so we got an SSR on that one. Hopefully it's a dupe. I wish they can change this the other way around. Okay, come on, let's go through. Click, click. All right, we're here. Ah, uh, what do we get? Uh, uh, oh, not quite there yet. All right, now we're here. Come on. Oh, is this? I think this is still another SR. Yeah. All right. Is this one or another SR? Did I get four SRs on this? I must have. All right. Come on. Give us something good. Not another Angelo. Ooh, Elfie! I actually needed Elfie. One of the few that I uh, that I need. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay. Good stuff. We'll do another one. I'm very much doubting we'll get any SSR on that this one. Um, as our luck's not going to be that good, which it isn't. Just got more fodder there. Alright, so let's just try our regular gem pool. Go for a 300. Why not? Just for kicks. And even less. Let's just skip. Alright. More Elizabeths and Ciceros. 
Alright guys, well that wasn't too bad. We at least got an Elfie. Um, and I've been doing pretty well on the Soul Stones and getting the, um, just crafting them up. And we've got quite a fair few SSRs now, but um, only my main team are completely maxed out. We get our Soul Stones. Alright guys, that's it from me. It's a quick update on the patch and the event. I hope you guys are doing well, and if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you don't, let me know as well. Any feedback's good feedback, and I hope to see you in the next video, whether it's nighttime or daytime. I hope you're having an amazing evening or amazing day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Andy, signing off. Bye.